Did you know that you can change the amount of your child support in Texas? Here are some common reasons to modify your child support. My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney who has helped families modify their child support orders in Texas since 1987. And there are many reasons that you might want to change it because when your original order is entered, the court generally takes into consideration only the income of the non-custodial parent and they calculate it based as a percentage of that parent's income. But it's not put in the order as a percentage. It's put in the order as a dollar amount. And that dollar amount doesn't change unless you get a new court order. So even if you have an agreement with your former spouse or the parent of the child, you have to get a new court order or the attorney general is still going to enforce the old one. And your agreement doesn't matter until you get the judge to sign a new order. If you have an attorney entering an agreed order, it's a pretty simple process, but it still has to be signed by the judge. And so when you go to court, you've got to have a good reason for changing the child support. One of the most important reasons or most common ones is a change in income, whether you're increasing or decreasing. If you have a large increase in income, then the custodial parent is going to want to increase the child support. And if you have a loss of job or decrease of income, maybe because of disability or you've retired or your job has changed in some way and you can't make the amount of money you were making before, then you would want to modify to decrease the child support order to get a new dollar amount put in that order that reflects your current income because it's not going to change automatically. Another reason might be the child has medical expenses that have come up that were not expected and you need to change the child support to account for those medical expenses or it could be a change of the child's educational needs. Maybe the child needs tutoring now or private schooling that wasn't taken into consideration at when the original child support order was entered. Another important reason could be that the child has just grown older and has more expensive needs. You know, with the, the children these days, they've got soccer, dance, football, baseball. They've got to have uniforms. They have club fees. All those expenses that were not in the consideration when they were toddlers, but now it is uh, important for the child to be able to participate in these things and um, the child support may need to be increased because of it. Or if the non-custodial parent is paying all those fees, they might want it to be included um, that they've already paid those fees so they shouldn't have to pay additional child support. So those are some of the reasons. Another reason might be a move. Uh, if the parents have moved further apart, it's more expensive to travel to exercise the visitation then you might want to change the child support to accommodate the cost of the travel. It could be that there has been another child born. If the non-custodial parent, the paying parent, has more children born to them that they are legally obligated to support, then they're going to have a different percentage. It's going to lower the percentage for the existing child, but you have to go to court to get that recalculated to lower the amount of support that you're paying for the existing child to take into account the fact that you're paying child support for other children outside of that relationship. Finally, it could be that there was a custody change. You know, it could be that the one who was the non-custodial parent who's ordered to pay child support is now actually the custodial parent. They have the child with them all the time and they want to eliminate that need for them to pay child support and perhaps order the other parent now to pay them child support. So if you want that kind of a modification, you have to put on evidence to the judge about what is in the best interest of the child. And you have to have documentation. Some documentation is admissible, some of it's not admissible. You need an attorney who's persuasive to show the judge why the child support should be changed and how much it should be. And then they need to write that order in the way that's clear and enforceable. So if this is a helpful video for you, please 
click like, uh, click the uh, subscribe button, and share this video so that I can continue to add to this channel.